So how do I know if what I buy is worth it? And that is such a great question. People talk to people that are very unhappy with their hearing aids, but what you need to know is, at least in the state of Texas, and I think most states, have a 30-day trial period. Now, I think that you need to ask before you go into an office, what does your 30-day trial period include, and how much is it going to cost me if I bring the hearing aids back? That you have got to wear hearing aids in your everyday situations to make sure that what you're wearing helps you in the situations where you have difficulty. We always have a follow-up visit with someone within 10 days, two weeks max to evaluate their progress after they get their new hearing aids because oftentimes the first week is the most difficult and if you're having issues we can usually resolve them with a minor minor tweak of the program in the hearing aids. A lot of times people come back and say, well, I don't really see much difference, but if they have a family member with them, they look at me and go, oh, no, there's a difference. So if you really want to know if your hearing aids are helping you, ask your family and friends, and they'll be honest with you. Believe me, they'd much rather you keep it and let them be able to talk to you without working so hard rather than you returning it and then going back to exactly the same situation. I encourage you on that note to always take someone with you when you go to your appointment. So many times the information that's been told to you is overwhelming or there's a lot of details or even remembering how to take the battery out and change it or clean the ear mold gets lost in all the overwhelming information we give you. So it's always good to have a family member with you or a friend even to just, we can use their voice to monitor how the hearing aid sounds to you. So that's just a little added thing.